welcome to this video once again and in this video we're going to be testing our registration api but before we do that there's something i actually forgot to do in the last video or a couple of things i actually forgot to do which we ought to have done before rushing down to test our api is first of all we would need to um add an extra field here called image so that it can resonate with our user model that has image right here all right so that's the first thing that we are going to do and then um, there are two ways you can actually do this the first way is to go to our create user stable and just we're gonna add one more field here that's gonna be a string and call this image and we can refresh our migrations but i don't really right think that would be necessary all you just do is come over here and then um, go to structure select um, after email and then click on go and then this pops up you can add your this your your field of image here set it to be various characters set the length and that should go, be good all right so with that on ground now the next thing we also want to do is to create our route so we need to create our route for our api because right now if i go to api route you can see that we have absolutely no route for our api so i'm going to get rid of this now and we want to start off by grouping our routes so we're going to group this and we're going to give it a prefix and our prefix should be user so basically what this prefix means is when our user goes api slash the next thing should be user all right so that's what the prefix basically means so we're giving it the prefix of user in our namespace which is the folder which is the user folder all right remember we created our users folder right here so right here we created this user folder all right so the user folder is going to be our namespace so we just have namespace and our namespace is going to be the user folder and of course though this is not compulsory but i kind of like adding it even if we don't add it it will definitely appear globally well, I kind of like adding it. So now we're going to add um, a middleware, which is cause. Of course, of course, we created the middleware here. So let me go pause. You can see it's in the middleware folder. And the next thing we want to do now is after setting our middleware to cause, we also want to write our function that is going to handle our route within our route grouping. Okay. So now, right here, we're going to say it's an anonymous function that has no name. That's what an anonymous function basically means. And we are going to start by creating just two routes first. The first route is going to be our register route. And our register route um, is going to come from our auth controller file. And register mm, at, oh, sorry, at register. Okay. Just basically right here, if I come up here. You can see that this is our register file right here. Okay, so auth controller register, and I should I don't think we should give it any named route. We don't need that. So auth controller. Oh, sorry, we didn't call it register. Sorry, we called it register user. All right, and now let's just get rid of this and paste that in here. And yep, we have our route declared. So now we have saved that. Another thing again we also need to do is we'll be using the file put content to upload the file. Alright. Oh uh, like here, you can see that there's a file here. So I'm gonna just delete this file. So um we want to create a folder called profile underscore images inside of our public folder. Um if we come right here. And we go down you can see that we are using file put contents to actually put this file in this folder profile underscore images all right so um we have actually created that file now having created that file the next thing we are going to do basically right now is to test our api so i'm going to be using postman for this and <coughs> sorry having a little code recently all right so we're going to close this we don't need all this and um oh sorry. 
All right, so now PHP at season serve, and that has served our application. So we just head straight over to Postman. And remember, our prefix is user. And we have register, which is exactly what we called our route. And over to our header, we want to set this to application slash JSON. And in the body, we want to use raw. We want to use raw. So this is going to be just pure JSON. And the first one is going to be... Um, the first one is called what? Let me just check up that. Let me just check up the field. So name, email, password, and image. So we have name. And we actually set our header. Oh, no. Our header needs to be application slash JSON. So that we can write raw JSON file. And now that we have set that, now we can come here. Our name would be Franklin. Just our email should be... Um, Let's just say desmond.gmail.com or something. And then the next one after that should be our password. And our password should be password, basically. And then the last on the list should be image. And for our image, we will need a base64 encoded image. Because what we are doing here is we are getting a base64 encoded image. Base64 encoded image. Right, this is for encoded string. All right, we are getting that and then we are saving it as our file. So to do that, what I am going to do now is to get a site that converts images to B64. So B64 encoded image string example. Yep, and yes, this is it. B64. So what we are going to do now is just click here and pick one of these pictures. Oh, okay, let's just pick this. All right, it's going to upload that and now we'll just click on show code copy to clipboard and we have copied that now come over to postman and then paste this and now when i click on send we have a 500 internal server error and the error is telling us that jwt time on jwt odd contract not found not found so now let's get straight back here and jwt subject and the file is present okay so i actually found out where the problem was coming from and let's go to our user model user the php and i found out i just corrected i found out that i wrote this jwt and like this all right and if i do that it's not the exact name of the file so if i do that it's going to throw that error so all i just need to do was change that to capital letter and let's change that to capital letter back. And now save that. And when we come here and try to register this user, we get, oh, sorry, this email is already taken. So what I'm going to do is get back here. And we want to go to our table. And that's because that user already exists. Okay, this no need. Maybe what I'll just do is to change the email because it's telling us this email is already taken. So now let's just pull this down, change this email. So this is basically for encoder string. And this is gonna take like tickets. Oh boy. Alright, let me just clear the whole thing. Yep, now that's much better. So now let's just get back to testing. And we're gonna use a new user. And the name. Right, let's get back to our user model fillable name, email, password, and image. So let's get back here. Our name, Moses. Our email, we could use Cameron at gmail.com. All right, our password should be password. And our image will get the same B64 encoded image as before. I had the bulb, just copy the clipboard, minimize, and now paste that in here. And when I click on send, now you have success true, user registered successfully. And if we come here, and let's go to profile underscore images folder, you can see now that this 
image has been uploaded and if I go to my database and I go to face off no structure let me refresh this what's this oh sorry <laughs> my god all right so now you can see Moses Cameron at gmail.com with this image has been saved successfully. So in the next video, we are going to write the login functionality.